am Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet a wheel flower. To do this, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and a size H hook. To begin, chain 12. Slip stitch in the sixth chain from the hook. We will use this ring to connect each petal as we go. In the next chain, make one single crochet. Use a stitch marker to mark the back loop of that stitch. It's important to mark the back loop only, as we'll need it later. In the next chain, make one half double crochet. In the next chain, make two half double crochet stitches. In the next, a double crochet. In the next, two double crochet stitches. And finally, make one treble crochet. Chain one. For this next part, we're going to work in the front loops only. We're going to make a reverse single crochet in each stitch across in the front loops only. To do this, reach down towards the stitch. Insert your hook in the front loop only of that stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it through. Yarn over and draw through the two loops on the hook. Next stitch, reach down. Insert into the front loop. Grab the yarn and pull it through. Yarn over and pull through the loops. And I'll do this reverse single crochet stitch again. Continue doing this over the remaining stitches. Take note of that last stitch, which was the first single crochet. Do your final reverse single crochet in it. Then in that ring, make a slip stitch. You have just completed one petal. I'll show you the next petal now. Those reverse single crochet stitches were made in the front loops. We're going to use only the back loops for this row. Start off as before with one single crochet. Take out the stitch marker and mark this new stitch in its back loop. Next stitch, one half double crochet. Then, two half double crochet stitches in the same stitch. Next stitch, one double crochet. And the next stitch, two double crochet. And finally, make one treble crochet stitch. Leave the remaining stitches unworked. Chain one. Now it's time to do the reverse single crochet across all of the stitches from the previous row in the front loops only this time. And here's that original single crochet. Do your last reverse single crochet in the front loop and do a slip stitch in that ring. You've just completed the second petal. The third petal is a repeat of the second petal. Working in the back loops, do the stitches again. Start off with a single crochet stitch and mark it in its back loop. You'll end with a treble crochet stitch and then do the reverse single crochet back. I like to make 10 petals with this flower. After the last petal, slip stitch into the ring. Leave a long tail end and thread a yarn needle. We're going to sew the last petal to the first one. To do this, flip the flower over to the back. And then I like to use those back loops of the one petal to sew and connect to the other petal. You can sew or glue on a button or gem in the middle. And that's how I make a crochet wheel flower.